Game four of the World Series is set for tonight with Arizona holding a 2-1 lead in the series against the Rangers. Earlier today, Lackawanna County native Ruby Gary Ruby stopped by our studios with Jim Coles to break down the fall classic. Now, Ruby spent 31 seasons as a pitching coach with five different Major League Baseball teams, including the Philadelphia Phillies. They looked destined to win it all, well, until a week ago. Well, I, I thought they were going to run the table, okay, and I was at mixed emotions between Houston and Philadelphia, but uh, I've had a relationship with Rob Thompson over the years when he was with the Yankees, and uh, I really like the way he goes about it. I mean, he's a player's guy, and you can see the way the Phillies react to him. He's, he's a real pro that never really got a chance in New York, so I'm, I'm really happy for him. You know, the Diamondbacks have Jake McCarthy, but not only that, that's who you're rooting for at this point because you're intertwined with that organization yeah, even more. Yeah, it, it's, it's funny how it works that uh, we've discussed this before, but uh, uh, Tori Lavulo, uh, the bench coach, Jeff Bannister, uh, the uh, hitting coach is uh, Damian Easley, bullpen coach is Mike Fetters, uh, all these guys, and my favorite is Brent Strom because we pitching coach. Yeah, Thank we you. worked together since 1997. We against each other first, and uh, he's one of my mentors. He's he might be the, or I'm sure he's the best in the business right now. Why? So. Uh, he just has a knack of, of the blend between analytics and, and handling pitchers. And if you notice, anybody that, that comes under his realm, everybody gets better. I yeah. mean, Up until uh, <laughs> through the 1968 season, you had a pennant winner in the American League and a pennant winner in the National League. And those two teams played for the, the World Series. Now, the regular season seems to be not as important, a little diluted. What would you do if you say you were the commissioner with all these playoffs? Because I think right now the best team doesn't necessarily win it all, but is that a bad thing? Right. It's, you know, you have mixed emotions about it because when you look at Arizona and you look at Texas, they both qualified on the last day of the season, okay? And, right. and now they're both in the World Series. So that, that's great for those franchises in their cities. But, you know, in, in my own interpretation, I'd like to see the season shortened uh, we've discussed like 144 to 152, and the playoff format will work a little bit better. I, it's a hard time seeing somebody have 100 wins and get eliminated. Uh, I have a problem with that, So, right. especially in a 162-game grind.